All right, so we want to do that. We want to make some uh, make some predictions here and see what see yeah. what happens. Um, yes, sir. Excuse me. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these up. Uh, you got the schedule in front of you too, everybody. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I got it. Let me do this right, and give me one second here. All right, so we've got starting out at the uh, lovely Florida. Yeah, Florida. you were gonna. You're going to give America an enema. Gainesville, Florida is where you'd stick the nozzle. Yeah, I've been in Gainesville. It's probably the most disgusting city I've ever visited. <clears throat> yeah, they say COVID's I've... over. Still wear a mask. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, go, that, goes for, that goes for Tallahassee, too. Tallahassee has their own STD and strain of the flu, so stay away. <laughs> Allegedly, every, every um, other week, a Florida fan takes a bath. <laughs> Some of them don't even know what a bath is. Yeah, it's bad when Ebor City looks looks nice compared to. Compared oh to wow! <laughs> that's wow! A low blow. That's, a, that's a low blow. Oh, okay. Debbie Downer! What are we Debbie Downer Award. Wait, wait, we got a Debbie Downer fishing football. He's getting pissed off because we're ragging on. <laughs> right. You know what? Fish fishing football is disqualified. He's not because, even real. Yeah, he he's not a real person. That that's that's oh. a uh, that's a Chinese bot. <laughs> Fishing ain't real, man. Fishing ain't real. Yeah, he's a Chinese bot. He's a Russian spy. Good to see you fishing. Either way, well, you know, we'll, we'll put up with you. But so, so, what do we think is going to happen with this game? Um, I'll, I'll let y'all win. Go win, win. I'm not even look. It'll be close because first game of the season. It's in Gainesville. No matter how disgusting or awful that place is, it's still a tough place to play. Probably because it's so disgusting and awful, but it, it should be a win. The Gators are awful. They're going to win like maybe three or four games this year. Billy Napier is going to be fired on the runway somewhere. I don't know. They're just going to throw him out of the taxi or something. This is a win. I'm not even going to entertain this. I got this down to Miami 38, Florida 17. Wow. Wow. Okay. I was thinking more like 31 23. I was going to say 31 23. They don't have. All right. Earl Johnson, that's the, the that's the only running back they had with some uh, with yeah, some ETN went to a real team. <laughs> ETN went to a real team in Georgia. That's, that's the yeah, match I'm waiting yeah, for. Bill, they've um preseason ranking is nineteen. Yeah. Yeah. I, I kind of um, disagree where they put us compared to Clemson. Uh Clemson's a little bit higher, but I think Clemson's not gonna I, I think Clemson goes well, like eight and four and three this year. Some of that is because it, Clemson is still a better roster on paper than us. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they're well, not. Well, nah, yeah, going by recruiting rankings on paper, that is a better roster. Yeah, I'm not saying they're in they're practice they're it is. No, no. Also, also even then, they're not. Davos lost a lot of talent to the Porter, but he never replaced them. And now, also, all they, not, well, that that's actually not true either. I mean, it, for all the for all the crap Dabo takes <clears throat> about not getting transfer players, he's got some of the lowest transfer out numbers in the country. Yeah, but nonetheless, you have out numbers that you're not replacing with equal or better talent. Also, they used well, to recruit with top ten, top five, and now they're like outside of the, they're still top fifteen. I'm not saying they're not a talented team. That would be a ridiculous statement, but. Like that, they're well. It, they're on, they haven't put players. out the team. They haven't put out the team talent composites for this year. So last year, the, the blue chip ratio. I think they did. Well, no, I'm not talking about the blue chip ratio. I'm talking about the talent composite. Last year, according to the talent composite by two four seven, Clemson was the fifth most talented roster in the nation. We were eleventh or twelfth. Yeah, let me see if I can check that right now. So I will say one thing about this game, though. I I feel sorry for I – mean, I hate to say this, but I kind of feel sorry for Florida this year. Why? I mean, they have one of the most grueling schedules. <clears throat> and like this – I mean, you can look at their schedule and think – I mean, you'd be lucky to find five wins. I mean, that would be amazing if they could pull off five but, wins. Honestly, let me pull it up and we can talk about this. Hold up. Well, and, and to your point, uh, Fools – it's brutal because it's the Gators with that schedule as well. Yeah. Because they're, they're a bad football. Like, 
that that schedule wouldn't be considered. We wouldn't consider it half as hard if Georgia was playing that schedule. No, but yeah, but that's a that's a pretty big comparison there. Yeah, yeah oh, like I mean, I I'm looking at the schedule honestly by by the Georgia game, they'll probably be shooting Billy Napier into the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> I mean, yeah. um, our week one is a lo- is a loss. We all agree on that. Sanford win. Texas A&M, uh, it's in Gainesville. I'm going to call that one 50-50 just because Mike Elko goes so early into his tenure and it's on the road. And for all the shit that Billy Napier's taken, he always pulls out one bullshit win from his ass every fucking year. Well, um, and he's got a good record in the swamp, too. Yeah, I, I, I think they beat Texas A&M, so that's two. Mississippi State, they're one of the worst teams in the SEC. I, I think that's a win. UCF at, at Ben Hill Griffin Stadium. That could be fifty. I, I could say that's a fifty-fifty game, but I'll give it to UF. Um, not be, um, because I'm so low on them, and I'm a little higher on UCF. Tennessee loss, yeah. Kentucky loss, um, Georgia's a loss, Texas is a loss, LSU. It's in Gainesville. That's the only advantage you have. Ole Miss let, is a loss. Let me let me ask you a question. Did you think Tennessee was a better team than Florida last year? Yeah, but it was in the swamp. This year, it's in Knoxville. I don't care. And, and Tennessee, Tennessee it, has beat them. Hang on, it. Tennessee has beat them it. three times in the last eighteen years. Yeah, yeah. That don't no, like um, Roth saying in here. You know, five top thirteen teams in November, and that's <laughs> that, now, they're going to they're going to close out bad. Now, I think LSU is way more talented than them, but I'm not high on LSU for this year, I'm and Miami either. fans shouldn't be either. Yes, Nussmeyer is an elite quarterback. Yes, LSU has talent. But obviously that their defense. offense is going to take a step back, and then you have Blake Baker running that defense. Not just Blake Baker, but that defense was already terrible last year, and they've done nothing to improve it. Well, they got some guys back. Like, you did have – you know, they, they had a couple of injuries in camp at corner, and then you had that corner that had the brain tumor. Look, so, gonna, I mean, gonna, just getting guys back from injury, they're going to be a little better than they were in the secondary last year. Look, I'm going to say something, and it, it, it goes well with the picture that Brent, uh, Brennan has up. In that last five games, it is very likely they lose all five games. Do I think they will? No, I think they could beat LSU because it's in the swamp, and LSU is not going to be as good as people think they are. But I have literally seen Florida fans saying that in that last five games, they'll go like three and two or four and one. And I'm not joking. Oh, like I've, dude, I've, heard, I've been in Twitter spaces. Florida fans were talking about they deserve a playoff spot that they go nine and three. Florida, I've seen like, Florida they fans think make nine and three is possible. I've <laughs> seen Florida fans make serious predictions that they're going to go eight and four and then beat both us and Florida State. Shut up. Please shut up. Please <laughs> shut up. Yeah, that's not happening. Well, I, I mean, as far as our game with Florida, yes, I think we're going to win. No, I don't think it's going to be a blowout. Yeah. I, I just um, have to say, because if Florida I, makes a bowl game, if Florida makes a bowl game, and I'm saying this live, I will put myself in a brazen bowl. And if you don't know what that is, look it up. Billy Napier deserves coach of the year if they make a bowl game. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, if there's a lifetime I, extension. Listen, I, I, I held Florida State to the same standard, so I'd be a hypocrite not to uh, hold Miami to it as well. It, it, no matter what you think of the guys we brought in or the talent we have, Cam Ward, Damian Martinez, all these guys have never taken a snap in a Miami uniform. And you can practice all you want. There is no replacement for a game experience. Yep. So... I could see this being a 28-17 kind of game. I have, yeah, I, th- I, have 30, I think 30. it'll be close, too, but I think we get the win. I think we'll get it. Yeah, I think it'll be 31-23, and we'll score a touchdown in like the middle of the fourth quarter to make it 31-16, and they'll score some garbage time touchdown to make it look a little better. That's how I think that'll go. But it'll be close I, all the way through. Like, yeah, I, I, It'll be kind of like, like uh, take, for example, the, uh, the Michigan-Alabama playoff game. Like, yes, the score was close, but you could just tell Michigan was in control of that game at all times. Yeah. 
I mean, even though that game went to no. overtime, for God's sake. But no, it didn't. Yeah, did the. Yes, yeah, it did. I did. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, am I in, in an alternate universe? <laughs> yeah. Never mind. Well, I, um, listen, that was eight months ago now. Yeah. All right. So, so we we're all saying that um, we think Florida's trash, and we're going to win that game. So next, we have the juggernaut that is Florida Atlantic. Our first win over a Tallahassee school this year. Spoiler, it won't be our last. Yeah, that's Florida A&M, not Florida Atlantic. Oh, no, yeah, no. You're, yeah, I'm sorry. Florida. Never, <laughs> the, 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 the mighty Rattlers. Florida, yeah, the Rattlers. Florida, Florida Atlantic Florida Memorial sorry, University. Sorry. Yeah, right, exactly. Sorry. <laughs> now, I was looking at the colors. It always irritates me because they stole our colors, too, and it's like. Oh, you have the same thing with that. Wait, I'm sorry, no. 60 or 70 on them. Yeah, well, I, I could I could see us great. dropping a a seventy. I, I think everybody in a Miami uniform will get in that. They may even pull Shelton out of the stands and put him in the game at some point. T two, I thought you were going to say I think we're dropping this game. I was about to say yeah. yeah, I did too for a second. I was like, what? No, come on, man, come on, we can't do that. <laughs> Look, I know we lost to Middle if Tennessee and FIU, game, but <laughs> if we drop this game, I'm getting arrested because I'm going down there to drop Mario on his head. <laughs> look, 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 I know, I know, we lost to Middle Tennessee and FIU, but we're not Florida and Florida State. We ain't ever lost to no FCS team, so <laughs> that ain't no, happened. we haven't. Okay, so I don't think we have a whole lot to say about this one. I'm pretty sure uh, we're all going to give this one a W, right? Yeah. yeah, oh yeah. All right. So how about um, what do we got next? Ball State, isn't that right? The mighty, yeah, Ball State replaces Notre Dame on our schedule this year. We would have had Notre Dame. But when they did, uh, when they added those teams to the conference, uh, they dropped Notre Dame from us this year. Yeah, we're going to drag our balls across their head. This is a win. Yeah, Ball State's not a good team. I think we beat them the same way we beat uh, Miami of Ohio. I think instead of this one being like, I I think instead of this one being like 70 to 6, this one will be like 56 to 2. 10 or something like 56 to 6. Well, that, it, well I, I mean, T2I is actually spot on. Like, Ball State is probably right on about the exact same level as the Miami of Ohio. Well, Miami, Ohio was 38 to 3, but we're way better than last. Also, Brennan, you were saying it's funny how Sam used to our colors. Bethune Cookman, who's their rival, stole FSU's colors. So it's just funny how that worked out. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. So we're, we're, we're all giving this a W2, I would assume. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Next up. Here we go. South Florida. Lost. No, I'm joking. It's a win. Yeah, that, that, that's a win. And unlike Alabama, it's not going to be close. I, I, think the, I think they'll put up some points because they got a good offense. And by points, I mean like 21. Like I think this will be like a 48-21 type game. 45, 42, 21. They'll I think you're underestimating the there. defense this year. I think it's just because they'll give us a little bit. I'm not saying like it'll be like 17, 14 going into the half, but I think it'll be like, you know, they score a late touchdown in the fourth quarter or two to make it a little more respectable on the backups. That's what I'm mostly saying. I got, this uh, I got we'll you. Be, I yeah, got we'll this be game in control of this. 48. Game. 48. Yeah, I like yeah, I'm team I, I like T2I's prediction a whole lot. My, like, I, I think this defense is – everybody's focusing on the offense. I think the defense is being slept on. I, I'd say 48-21, 48-17 feels right to me. I'd be happy with that. I don't think they got the weapons to score 14 or even two touchdowns on us. Well, all right. Well, right. We'll wrap this up with a W as well. <laughs> so, who we got next? Uh, we go. Yeah, th- 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 this one, I I, I, I think this is a loss. I don't. And it's not because I'm super high on Virginia Tech. It's just I, I have a bad feeling about this game. Friday night, um, Mario and this team always seems to lose one game that they shouldn't every year or some or some years, multiple games that they shouldn't every year. And until I see something different, I'm going to stick with that pattern. So I have this as the first loss of the year. I'm going to take it as a win. I'm going to get away from the um, PS, you know, the post-traumatic stress. <laughs> um, I, think we, I 
I think we have it together this year. I think the team came together. I don't see us dropping this game. I don't either. I think we win this one as well. Yeah, if this was in Blacksburg, I would agree with you. Um, and because I'm a gen- degenerate gambler, there you see you happen to see a lot of trends in gambling. Um, and there's a high likelihood that Virginia Tech is going to be ranked. So mm-hmm. ranked teams on the road on a Thursday or Friday night, they just take L's. They yeah, this is do. a Friday game too. It is. Yes, they yeah, just yeah. they take it off. That's just what scares me. I, I just have PTSD with those Friday night games. We always seem to do bad in them. Hopefully, I, look, I don't. I'm not seeing. And I see Bean laughing at me in the chat, and I see people being like, "No way, we're losing this game." I don't want us to lose this game. I want us to go 12 and 0. That would be ridiculous. Well, but, I mean, listen, Virginia Tech is not a pushover. That is a team that was yeah. one game behind us last year. That is returning every but one starter. Hmm. They got a good quarterback, good defense. I really like what um, – what's his name? Brent Pry? Is that the coach's name? Yeah. Um, I, I like what he's doing over there. Um, Virginia Tech's looking good. And, and again, I hope we beat them. I'm not hoping for a loss, but, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going with the W on this one, too. I Imagine that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I really, so. hope, I really hope I really hope after when we're doing the post game show after this, y'all are clowning me saying I told you so. I really want that. I want to be told I told you so. I don't want to be the one saying it. Well, yeah, I hope I hope so as well. Are you going to this game? You got your season tickets again? This is the first year I don't have season tickets because I'm moving. And you know what? It would be really damn fitting if it's the first year I don't have season tickets and they win 10 fucking games. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not going to get to hear your rants leaving the stadium you're not going to get to hear me die on the way out you're not going to hear the <laughs> sirens the shooting it's always gunshots uh, going off and stuff I don't know you're not gonna, you're not going to hear the beautiful landscape that is miami gardens unfortunately for me i will be at every home game wearing florida state gear yes you will <laughs> god i can't believe you made that bet oh no, no you have way. To oh no <laughs> You have uh, to wear uh, now I wish I had eight gear. To... You know what? Yo, T2Y, where do you normally sit? Well, I don't normally sit anywhere. I upgrade my seats. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Oh. <laughs> All right, you well, know how, you, know, look, you, know how you look down at the stadium and you see all, mm, look at those empty spots over there. I saw you at the Virginia Tech game like two years ago. I was like, oh, that's T2Y. <laughs> oh, man. Like I, saw you, like I saw you on TV and... Um, yeah, no, let me know where you're going to be for that Florida State game because I want to clown you in person about that. That is a stupid fucking bet. <laughs> I got the same right. bet for the Gator fans. Oh, man, that would be horrible. All right, so now we got the weird one. <laughs> We're going to be playing in Cal. I've seen a lot of people count this as a loss. I don't see it. Cal's awful. Like, okay, yeah, three Cal, time, Cal's a terrible football team, yeah. Yeah, and and, and like, listen, I don't think the travel is going to be as big a deal because I think they're going to – like normally they travel on a Thursday for an away game. They may travel on even Tuesday, but they'll probably definitely travel on Wednesday. Yeah, and it's not yeah. like they're taking a covered wagon or something. I mean, they're – it's Yeah, they're going to they're gonna charter a flight out there. No, uh, yeah, act, they're not riding a bus. Like People are acting like they're going to Syria or something, like – <laughs> Gaza, like, dude, this is just it's, it's Berkeley. Like, oh, oh my god, it's a three hour difference. Take a nap. <laughs> like, come on. It's yeah, like, it doesn't, it's doesn't not matter. like we're going up to Utah where it's a whole different um altitude. Yeah, like, hey, uh, by the way, did y'all see we're opening the 27 season with Utah in Vegas? Yep. Oh my god, if really? we lose that game, the trolling is going to be off. Dude, no. I, it, some of the luster has already been taken off that game because I saw an interview with uh, Kyle Whittingham and he and they were asking him about it right after they announced it. And he's like, yeah, well, unfortunately, I probably won't be on the sidelines for that game. Oh. Well, that's so just his, good his coach in waiting is the right. defensive coordinator out there. His, uh, He's sort of been Mario's kryptonite in his last years at the Pac-12. So, Listen, Kyle Whittingham is a great coach. I, I mean, oh, he, no. he's never gotten elite-level talent, but he gets 150% out of everything he gets. I'll say this. 
from a fan standpoint, last season we knocked out um, Miami of Ohio, so they no longer get to call themselves the real Miami. And then we'll knock off the Utes, and then we'll own the U. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think so I think then, we win. I think we win this one. And well, not a four hurt. Yeah. But it's, is 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 true to just stop Cal's running back, and we have one of the deepest defensive lines in the country, so I think we'll do okay at that. Yeah, so I I, I think we're fine. So now we got this fun one here. Um, what say yeah. y'all? Loss. I got it. Yeah, I, I got it as a win. I, I'm I'm counting this as, as our first loss. It's a it's a classic trap game. It's the second in back to back road games, and it's a week before Florida State. And also, um, fuck, what's his name? The coach, at Louisville. I'm blanking on it. I know his um, name. Brom. Jeff Brom. Jeff Brom's a damn good coach, and you saw what he did um, to our defense, which our defense was really good last year, and he had um, a garbage quarterback back there. And you saw what he was able to do. He couldn't do it against FSU in the um, ACC championship, but he's a good no, coach. FSU and was the only team to hold them under thirty all year. I think we'll yeah. be a lot more prepared for these this game than you know we're getting credit for because we do have a, a staff member that came from over there, so he's very familiar with what they do, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, but I mean. I've no, no, no. Uh, us against their defense is not a problem. I mean, Tyler Van Dyke. Listen, I, I, last I, guys, I already know where T two Y is going with this. T two Y is going twelve and zero. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> definitely. Dude. All right. I only got uh, Florida State as a question mark. That's it. R- really? Wow, that is. That's amazing. the only question mark on the schedule. You know, this is where the bad rep comes from with Miami t- fans. <laughs> Shit like this. D2I loves to troll, man. He I'm does. Like, D2I, D2I, I love you. I-, I love you. I love your content. It's nothing but respect. But God damn it, you crazy if you think we're going 12-0. and 0. I got Louisville and Florida State as potential losses. But I see that we could beat both of them unless proven otherwise. And, and, and I get that. And listen, we should beat Louisville. We're a more talented football team. I think we're a better coached football team. But like I said, like I explained, this is just a very classic trap game. It's a classic trap game against it, and it's not like we're playing Duke from 2019 where they went like three and nine. You get me? It's it's a good team. Like this is a good team. They were in the ACC championship last year, and they and they've gotten better. And, and listen, like 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 he said a few minutes ago, you know I'm gonna come on your show, T2I, and I absolutely hope you'll be able to rub it in and say I told you so. Yeah. Don't even get me started on Duke. If if Mario <laughs> lose that game, oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh, I, listen, we'll get we're we're coming to that. We'll we'll come to that. I'm gonna leave that for that. What do you um, think of this Louisville game, Brennan? Man, I to me it's like a a coin toss, you know. I think yeah. I mean I have trouble believing that you know we're going to go 12 and 0. I would you know as much as I would love to in reality I, I have trouble so I'm trying to look for who would be the most likely loss and I I think this is probably it. Now 904 brings up a good point. We do have a bye week before going to Louisville. So there's mm-hmm. a bye week in between Cal and Louisville. And you know we always do really well after a bye week. Louisville. <laughs> <laughs> no, the same Manny Diaz no more. The same Manny Diaz no more. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute now. I, and I put that on Manny, and that's when all Tyler's problems started. Was after the bye week last year. So for the Louis, the Louisville game, they already put out the spread. So we're an underdog, one and a half. And um, wow. Yes, yeah. ESPN's yeah, matchup predictor got us losing that game too. Yo, if you go through ESPN's matchup predictor is always stupid as hell. But if you look at that thing, they have us like if you were to look at all the games and if they actually happen how they say they will, they have us going eight and four with losses to Cal, Louisville, FSU, and then another and Florida. 
Well, so we, we, gonna... we covered at the beginning of the show uh, uh, how much of a clown show ESPN has come. So yeah. take that with a yeah. grain they, of salt and a shot of penicillin. Yeah. They have Florida like at a 61% chance of winning or something ridiculous. Florida. Yeah, 57. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 57. So I'm going to go I'm going to go on ahead and say we we lose this one. No. All right. So I'm at I'm at let me see 1 2 3 we we'd four, be 6 and five. 1. I'm at 5 and 2. I'm still on okay. the <laughs> I, I, I like the way you think, T2. I like it, man. I mean, I'm I'm right there with you. All right, so next up, um, your favorite team uh, that you will be sporting their gear all season. Uh, this will be T2I in the stands. Shout out to all of their fans. Shout out to all their fans. Give me that gear because if not, I would not be doing it. Are, are they going to bring um, that white boy on that show pony out on our field, or what are they doing with that? <laughs> no, that, he doesn't travel to, uh, uh, out of Tallahassee except for special occasions. Good. They might fucking throw beer cans on him and shit. Um, I would. I wonder but, if they're going to try to do something like that in um, in Ireland. Like that's you know. a good question. I don't now what what they usually do on the on the road games is obviously he goes, but the horse doesn't. So he just you know, toodles his little happy ass out to midfield and throws his toothpick into the ground. Or maybe they'll use that mascot they use for the basketball game, the little horse. Yeah, you know, you could probably put a mini horse on an airplane. You could do that. <laughs> <laughs> be the cutest fucking thing what? you ever saw. What, like little Sebastian? Oh, man. Okay, so what do y'all think about this game? When, um... I'm not going to say it's Close a blowout. Win. It, it, no, Close yeah, yeah, win. it's a win. It's a win. Um, they've gotten worse at quarterback, worse at wide receiver. Um, offensive line is still good, but they they they're just they're distracted with everything going on around them. It's on the road. Well, listen, um, I, I don't care what they have going on. I don't care what they've lost or brought back. I mean, it. it I've seen a, a, a six and six Miami team take Jameis Winston down to the wire. So the, this is going to be a close game, but I got Miami pulling it out. I think Man, this game is going to come down to the trenches and it's going to come down to time of possession. And whoever, I, I could, whoever makes yeah. the, the, the one or two mistakes in this game going to lose it. Yeah. And, and if you're going by that logic, which I completely agree with, it's pretty much guaranteed that DJ is going to make more mistakes than Cam Ward. It yep. just is. Yeah, uh, DJ, look, FSU fans, I know you guys aren't the brightest brunch. That's why you go to FSU. But I need you to understand that DJU is not a good quarterback. I need you to understand. No matter how much you want to hype him up, I mean, he wasn't even your first choice. He was your backup. You settled for DJ. It's kind of hard to hype up a guy when you're hearing stuff out of practice like 13 straight incompletions. <laughs> <laughs> They're still doing it. <laughs> and then you're watching their backup quarterback can't even complete a screen pass. Yeah, we saw what their backups did last year. Don't worry. We all saw that. <laughs> See, I, I it, people forget that Mike Norvell has had some stinkers at quarterback since he's been at Florida State. And, and, I mean, let's be honest about it for a minute. You saw the year-over-year -year progression with Jordan Travis and that team. And I think with the way Mike Norvell is not doing the best in high school recruiting and really relying on the transfer portal, I think it's every three years is when you have to look out for Florida State to make a run. Yeah. I mean, because he's not – Look, he's not Dion level where Dion has just completely ignored high school recruiting. He's like, hey, what's that? Except for like maybe one five star who's stupid enough to let, buy it. Well, listen, um, Mike, Mike Norbell is a football coach. Dion Sanders is a team mom with a whistle. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, T2Y, Ant Anthony has a question for you here. Um, I don't know if you can see it on your screen, but he wants to know if when you made that bet, were you sober or, or how drunk were you when, you when you made that bet? I had dollar signs in my eyes. <laughs> like, I mean, look, Mike. Th this is this is all I have to say about Mike Norvell's recruiting. 
he, I, I think he finished off with a worse class last year than Billy Napier, and Billy Napier lost half the damn class on signing day. That's all I need to say about Mike Norvell's recruiting of the of, of high school. Yeah, not to mention Billy Napier this year is depending on a good year to get some recruits. Yeah. Yeah, there, aren't they like 38th? I think he needs to be more worried about who's going to recruit 30, him. Back. Oh, speaking of commitment, I think um, Bryce oh, shit, did he oh, Fitzgerald was supposed to have made his decision at 9 o'clock. Damn, let's I see. forgot about it. Should be a hurricane. Should be. That's where we standing. Well, and, and listen, there's a couple guys out there that are like LSU is just keeping DJ Pickett warm for us until signing day. Did he commit? It was supposed to be today at nine o'clock. So I don't know. I'm trying to look it up too right now. I don't see it. Maybe somebody in the chat knows. Um, See, I think we get the win. What did you go with? I don't think he's announced yet. I haven't seen anything. No one's put out any. I don't think he's announced. Even though he was supposed to announce. Posted online earlier that he was making his decision tonight at 9 o'clock. Yeah, I saw saw it was going to be a 9, and I know we're 40 minutes past that, but none of the reporters have put out anything where it's like either yes or no. Like Gabby, Gabby would have put out whether he committed to like, just for example, FSU or something. Yeah, Workforce says it there. He hasn't announced it. All right, if... If we could just ask chat to do us a favor and let us know when he announces, that'd be great. Thank um, you. Uh, Almighty Finn, I, I I think I need you to go go review some film, and you would see what a ridiculous statement that is. Cam yeah. Ward doesn't turn over the ball at a high clip. He had seven interceptions. He had fumbles. But the fumbles, go look at the why, go, go look at why those fumbles happened. He had a bad offensive line at Missouri at at Washington State, he's going to have a top five offensive line in the nation at Miami. Also, what man, the man, got left out of the college football playoff because no one likes you. You've had two good years <laughs> with a bunch of hired guns from the transfer portal. You're a sad, sad school, and people use you up. Keon Coleman doesn't even claim you. Also, Keon Coleman's trash. Shut up about being Oh, you mean, you you mean sometimes him. Coleman? Because sometimes he's going to show up. Yeah, Keon Coleman got shut down by a fucking freshman last year. Well, he had a several games like that. Boston College, he had no numbers. Clemson, he had no numbers. Miami, he had no numbers. Uh, the list goes on. He got, Keon Coleman was is like Justin Fields, okay? He'll have a few highlights that get posted on ESPN, and everyone hypes him up when really he's just a jump ball merchant. That's it. Mm, I actually don't agree with that. I think that's more of a Bears problem than it is a Fields problem. No, but I mean how Justin Fields was like, people would hype him up like, oh my God, he's so great because he would make a few highlight plays, but he really wasn't at that great when he was playing there. Yeah, but the Bears are also garbage. But yeah, we'll get true. we'll get into that another day. Um, yes, I, I have us beating Florida State uh, in a close game. I mean... It's always. I think it's gonna. Game. I think it's gonna be a one-score game. Yeah, Raph. Notice how he did that with a punt return. He never did anything actually in the passing wow. game. Anyways, um, right. So who you, who y'all taking on this one? Slim says Miami Florida, or Miami, Miami. Miami. I say Miami. T two Y. I know you're going with Miami. T two Y. Yeah. So it's it's unanimous. We've all got Miami. There's all no, right. There's no L's in twelve and all. All right. All right. <laughs> I got you. So next up, we've got these goofy blue people. The, um, the Cuban Bowl. <laughs> yes, th- this is, th- as at least while these two coaches are here, this is going to be renamed the Cuban Bowl. And the winner of this game, the, the, the winner of this game gets a cup of Cuban coffee and a Cuban cigar. <laughs> we should up the that stakes. You, you know how some teams, um like, you know, they'll trade a, sh- a trophy off every year when they play. We should just trade head coaches. So, after whoever wins this game, actually, that wouldn't work. Never mind. That wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. That was a stupid joke. Um, yeah, Manny is fake Cuban. How do you grow up in Miami as a Cuban, son of Cuban immigrants, and you don't speak Spanish? Well, oh, he Mar- doesn't speak Spanish? Mar- no. He does not speak Spanish. Oh, I never man. trust Mar- a Cuban that doesn't speak Spanish. Hey, Mario, if you lose this game, 
please get on the plane with Manny. <laughs> yeah. If, yeah, if, I think we, 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 yeah, we pull this one off. We, we win this. Yeah, that, listen, it, they lost their quarterback, uh, the, their best defensive talent either went to the league or went with Elko uh, to mm -hmm. Texas A&M. And, and, and listen, I, I think my, uh, Manny, at, at the very least, shut some people up. Manny is still an elite defensive coordinator. He proved that at Penn State. It, Holy yeah, crap. That's, he, that's because he wasn't in charge of recruiting his own players because we saw what happens when he recruits his own players. They're dog shit. He's good with other people. No, not necessarily. You know, um. I'm, who was an actual good linebacker that he brought in through high school recruiting that developed into anything? Well, okay, well, in Manny, hang on. In Manny's tenure, name me a linebacker he brought in that didn't blow a knee out. They all did. That's why Wesley Besant is still here. I want you to think about this, though, Slim. Manny Diaz is responsible for Corey Flagg. He is. Hey, Corey Flagg got the game winning tackle against uh Clemson. So I don't want to I don't Sunshine's ever wanna on a rabbit dog's ass every once in a while, I guess. I don't want any I don't want to hear anyone say anything good about Manny Diaz again when that asshole gave up the most rushing yards in a game in Miami history with North Carolina. And the most North passing Carolina. yards in a game against Pitt in twenty twenty one when Kenny Pickett, Kenny Small Hands Pickett threw for five hundred yards on us. Yeah, we won the game, but that's because of Don't devil magic. And Ashley. Don't even get me started with not scoring a single fucking point against LA Tech. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Oh, that was horrible. Losing to FIU, losing to Louisiana Tech. Dude, I, I, I don't know, know what his infatuation. I don't know. Like, did Jaron Williams have some dirt on Manny or something? He was probably smoking weed with him. I mean, I think dude had some blackmail on him or something. Because I remember me and T2I talking about it. Uh, uh, one of the silver linings to Dan Enos is he tried to sit him in that FIU game when he came in after curfew drunk and Manny let him play anyway. Yeah, um, Workforce says it here. The fourth and longs. Fourth and long against North Carolina in his first year. Fourth and long against FSU. Like, oh, my God. Shoot. Not Whatever. This, this is a win. We blow yeah, them out. This by is a win too. It, this, this, this is a, a blowout. Blowing the game against Florida. Yeah, blowing the game against Florida. We were up not only at the half, but going into the fourth quarter against Florida. We lost. Yeah, to I'm, I'm, I'm taking. I'm taking a win. I'm taking a win on this one. Uh, no, Anthony uh, Grayson McCall is at NC State, not Duke. Uh, Manny got uh, Malik Murphy from Texas. A backup. Okay. I think the rest of the way is just a home run for us. Georgia All right. Well, well, so Florida. next up we got these guys. We should have been last year. Funny, we'll here's a no funny story about Sea Dog. So the year before when when we beat them like 35 to something, seven or something, I bet him 100 bucks. So the next season comes around, which was last year where we got cheated. I was like, you want to bet another 100 bucks? He's like, nah, I'm good. They won. <laughs> hey, hey, but but C Dog got fifty off of me. Hey, uh, I got the first time. The first time I ever discovered C Dog was last year, and it was after the and it was the video he posted where he's there during the the Bowling Green game and he's just sitting. Oh God, dude, dude he's What's even up. better? What's even better is the second one when he leaves in the fourth quarter and he's sitting on the bench on the side of the street right outside the stadium. <laughs> Oh, I mean, it. Like, I thought I, I'm like, dude. Do I need to hire you? Call the suicide hotline or something? Jesus! <laughs> I thought he was going to. Sea Dog, thought, like, sea -dog is hilarious. I, I love Sea Dog. I love Rick I too. But both those guys, but Sea Dog's absolutely hilarious, man. I think Georgia I, I, Tech I would tell me off the top of the stadium. <laughs> I think Georgia Tech would tell me everything I need to know once I watch them play FSU. Well, yeah. I, I mean. My my two cents on Georgia Tech is I think their offense is going to be better, and I think that's why they might beat Florida State week one. I, I think they'll at least keep that game close. Um, if they beat them, if they beat them, we need to do a post game show just for that. Well, 
here's going to be the problem with Georgia Tech, and, and I've talked to C Dog and Rec about this. Their defense might be worse this year. Yeah. I mean, if it wasn't for I mean, Tyler Van Dyke giving them three interceptions, because we put it, up it, yards it, on them. We put up like 450 yards on them. We were moving the ball. Yeah. And they had a bunch of guys transfer out. They got some transfer ins. Uh, you know, they went through two DCs last year. Well, they're, they got another one in the offseason. So they're on their third defensive coordinator in Brent's second season. Uh, yeah. That, yeah, that doesn't bode well. So, I mean, really, this game, e- even if, say, even if Georgia Tech has a very good offense, fine. Which defense do you, would you be willing to put money down, gets a couple of stops? Yeah. Of course. Also, Miami. Hoghead, Hoghead, we got cheated. Yes, Mario is a fucking moron for not taking the knee, but also, Don listen, Chain don't, was don't, clearly don't. down. Don't listen, uh, Hoghead. He's a ten- he's a Tennessee fan. Don't even <laughs> oh, get me shit. started yeah, on that mind. fucking never, dumpster never fire. Should, I never should have addressed him. I'm sorry. You're right. I didn't know. If I had known, I wouldn't have even addressed the comment. That's like addressing yeah, the, a Tennessee fan seriously or a Florida fan seriously. Like the, the real fans. UT is in Austin, Texas. By the way. Yeah. Did you see that petty ass shit that the SEC did? Where the in the official like synonym listing like um not synonym but like abbreviation listings they have like te- the like texas as like u texas and then tennessee as ut oh wow yeah it's stupid it's like when you say ut you think of texas you don't think of tennessee i can't wait to watch texas get the horns down in the sec now and then we'll try to whine about that because you know that's <laughs> no mercy SEC man. It's just, <laughs> it's gonna be fun. yeah, but but it, well, listen, I I think it's gonna be funny, but you saw what happened when Georgia did that. Fucking Bebo, Bebo almost turned Uga into a shish kebab. <laughs> that's my that's my that, that's Ooh. Mia's favorite video. She loves that video. <laughs> that bull is trying to eat that little dog. All right. You talk about somebody whose expectations is dropping as days in camp go by. They've already lost two running backs for the season. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, so I think, yeah, right, I think so, we get this win. Yeah. We don't mess yeah. up. We're, we're going to get revenge, I think. We're not going to mess up like Four, we did last year. 45-21. It's not going to be close. I'm yeah, I can see now. them. Th- this is one where I could see their offense putting up some points. Uh I could see him getting into the twenties, yeah. But their their defense that can't stop a running nose. Okay, no. we're just smack them clean we should get C Dog. We should get C Dog on the stream after this game. Especially if we beat him. I think we beat him something like forty eight to seven. Mm. Oh wow. Seventy to I, I hope you're right. I, I really hope you're right. And listen, I, I think some people are sleeping on the, our defense. I do. Yeah, I think our D is going to be a lot week better. One will, week one will tell me everything I need to know about our defense. Mm-hmm. I've already been telling people that we got a top five defense, and I'm sticking to it. All right. Well, moving along here, we have Wake Forest, the Demon Deacons. Um, oh. <laughs> Oof. Oh. We're done with them. They're going to be like angels. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, listen, I, I like friend. Dave Clawson. I put Dave Clawson in the same – in the same breath as like a Kyle Whittingham. I mean, he takes these guys oh, nobody Bryce else Fitzgerald. wants, and he gets something out of them. Bryce Fitzgerald committee is a hurricane. Oh, Bryce, okay. okay. Yeah, uh, um, we got him. Drop now. Yep. Yeah, okay. he, uh, he caused a little drama early. <laughs> he posted a picture with the Florida Gators stuff on. Yeah, I was, saw that, and that's the same trolling as like <laughs> that's the same trolling like Jeremiah Smith did last year. Um, I'm like. Yeah, and then the Florida State. I, you know what? Listen, though, I believe Jeremiah when he says he really didn't make his decision until he got on that stage. Oh, no, I don't mean like that. Because Jeremiah, I remember like a week before his commitment, he posted something with like a Miami Hurricanes balloon behind him on Twitter. And it was just that picture. Um, And then there was another – DJ Pickett did something too where like the day before he committed, he posted something with the Miami Hurricanes. And everyone was like, was like, yeah, we've seen this before. We know how this will go. He's not coming here. Yeah. Listen, no, no, listen, I've already heard, I, I've, I've got a source or two running around out there. I, I've heard that uh, 
DJ Pickett just being kept warm by by LSU for the time being. Hey, don't tell me you got official now, Slim. You got sources and shit now. Yeah, I haven't. I, I, I got yeah. Oh yeah, I got me a source or two. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, uh, Big Barney Ross, uh, appreciate you, brother. Uh, much appreciated on the five dollars super chat theory. Says when you tell your girl to shave her baby maker and you wake up bald. Mark Stoops. Appreciate <laughs> 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 you, Big Barney Ross. Oh. You know what? If if you're a person out there on the internet with a problem with Big Barney Ross, you're the problem. Exactly. I love Big Barney Ross. He's hilarious, man. So do, uh, do, you, do you give Wake Forest any chance in this game? No, I really it's a, don't. It's it's a win. Their their roster's not good, and it doesn't speak on Dave Clawson. I mean, what is he supposed to do at Wake Forest, man? Um. So yeah, that's a that's a win. All right. Well, um, now we've last got last game of the year. The big orange. Um, I really like the coach they hired. I'm, I'm blanking on his name right now. I think he'll do good things in the future, but not this year. This will be a win. Mm, okay. Um, I've got Miami doing Miami things. I've got the, I've got these players getting a big head, being highly ranked at the end of the year. And dropping a game to a bad Syracuse team. That's good. That I say bad Syracuse team. The record's not going to indicate that because their record is a cakewalk. Yeah. Um, Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. I don't fucking know. <laughs> we is not going out like that. Yeah, uh, so yeah, I have us 10 and 2. Slim does, but a lot bleaker 10 and 2. Jesus, I would not be feeling good about 10 and 2 if we lost the last game of the year. I at least have us win- ending on a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 game win streak. <laughs> Listen, I still have us going to the ACC championship, obviously, at 10 yeah, and 2. I, um, I have us in the ACC championship against Louisville, actually. If we uh, well, I, game and we lose Louisville. We ain't going to no goddamn ACC championship. Yeah, we will. No. I have Florida State nine and three with two losses. Clemson nine and three. Florida State and Clemson. No, it's going to be us and Clemson more than likely. I I think it's us and Louisville. I think Clemson. Um, let me let me see their schedule. I forgot who I had them losing to. See, I think I think Louisville as well, and that's why I would much rather. It's hard to beat a team twice. I would rather, yeah. you know, lose to them, you know, in midseason and then come back and win. You know, like either way, I think whoever wins the one, the other team will win the other. I think it's going to be now, a good match. I'm that not, being I'm said, good. that being said, Foles, I have seen Miami beat a team twice, and I'll never let them forget this because the year before we joined the ACC, our last year in the Big East, we beat Florida State during the regular season. And then we and then we matched up with Florida State in the Orange Bowl, and they took a double A. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean it, it does happen, but you know what I'm you know what I'm getting at. It's, isn't that it's the very, game? Isn't that the very hard to do? Isn't that the game Vince Wilbork uh, Wilfork killed somebody? <laughs> I think that's. I got, the game. Fun, I got a fun fact for you. Miami is the only team to beat both of their rivals in a bowl game in the same calendar year. Yep. Because we played Florida yeah. the, ver- the yeah. very next year in the Peach Bowl, I think it was, and beat them. Yeah. In late right on the 31st. Yeah. Because that, w- that was the one where uh, uh, Florida tried to tie it up. This was early in the game. Florida tried to tie it up, and, and Devin Hester picked up his own block kick and ran it back. God, remember when we had players like Devin Hester? Oh, I can't. I was like, you're old, but you can. <laughs> Dude, I'm looking for Callan right. Winslow. Brennan, Brennan. From the, um, from what you got? Titans. Brennan, what do you think of this game? Because I have no, 10 no, and 2. We, okay. right, we win. We win. We end up 11 and 1. All right, so That's 11 and 1, happy. two 10 and 2s, and then T2I with 12. the lofty 12 and 0. That is the official predictions of everyone on the panel. Yeah, and I hope, uh, I hope T2I is. Correct. 